Hi everyone, it's Anya from Cooking with Plants and welcome to another delicious recipe. So today I'm making a nut-free, creamy vegan sauce. All you need is a blender and some simple ingredients and this tastes absolutely amazing. So let's get into the recipe. Cooking with Plants, vegan made easy. So I'm actually going to start with two cups of water in my blender or you could use a plant-based milk of your choice if you want it extra rich and creamy but I'm happy just to use the water as the base. And I like to put this in first because it stops things from sticking onto the blades and it really helps to really blend everything up nice and smoothly. First off I'm going to add a fourth of a cup of nutritional yeast flakes. These give a nice cheesy flavour but it's totally optional if you don't like the taste of it please leave it out. Also going in is one tablespoon of lemon juice, one tablespoon of white miso paste, one tablespoon each of garlic granules and onion flakes. I'm adding salt and pepper to taste. You can omit the salt if you don't use salt or just adjust it at the end according to your palate. I'm adding about one teaspoon of coarse Celtic sea salt and about an eighth of a teaspoon of white pepper. And then once the sauce is done and I serve it, then I add some black pepper because they actually act on different parts of your palate and they just add a nice rounded flavor overall by combining the different types of pepper. So give that a try if you haven't done that in the past. And also going in is one fourth of a cup of hummus. So this is just an oil-free hummus that I made and I've had in the fridge, but you could use store-bought if you prefer. Next, I'm adding in half a cup of hemp seeds. So if you're new to vegan cooking and you're wondering where you can get your protein, it's in everything pretty much that you're going to be eating, but things like hemp seeds are really loaded with protein as well so just sprinkle them, sprinkle them on salads add them to your smoothies add them to sauces really really great sauce for you to use and then finally I'm adding 200 grams of sweet potato and for this recipe I like to use the sweet potato with the purple skin and it has the white insides so it'll keep this sauce nice and light colored and so it looks creamy but if you want to use another type of sweet potato, just keep in mind it will have more of a yellowy tinge to it and will make it look more like a cheesy sauce. So that's, that's the potato that I'm using today, but you could also use regular potatoes. This recipe is very forgiving and very flexible, so you can adjust it to your own taste or whatever ingredients you have in the fridge. And then just give this a blend up. <laughs> Okay, so once this has been blending for a minute or two, it will be nice and smooth and creamy. And I have to give it a taste test. Mmm, it's so silky, it's so smooth, it's absolutely delicious and nut free. So please give this a try and share your photos on Instagram or in the Facebook group. I would love to see your creations. And if you want to vary this up, just Think creatively, add some diced tomatoes, add some mushrooms to another lot. Whatever flavors you enjoy, keep it easy, keep it flexible. And if you want some more ideas for different sauces, why not take my sauces masterclass where I teach you all of my favorite sauces and dressings that I use in my kitchen each and every day for my own personal use. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. And if you're new to a vegan lifestyle or even if you just want to make your cooking easier and you want to use a simple system, I have a mix and match meal planning system which will have you in and out of the kitchen in no time with loads and loads of delicious meals. It's the same system I use to create all of my meals and also for my meal prep. So check that out as well. I'll put the link for that below as well. And I look forward to seeing you for the next recipe. Bye for now. Mmm, that is so delicious.